expressways, uh, they're not so active, but the tollways are. We still have this crash inbound on the Jane Adams right around Dundee Road, Route 25, blocking two lanes. The delays there begin at Route 31. Fortunately, we don't have any problems for public transportation. If you're injured, several are still in grave condition. And all 49 of the victims have now been identified. They range in age from 18 to 50. We have learned that one of them had just moved to Orlando from Chicago. Tanya Babbage is in the Alert Center with a look at that. Judy Angel Candelario Padro grew up in Puerto Rico, but he lived in Chicago until just recently. According to the hateful of gay, lesbian, transgender, and bisexual people, he says Muslims are not hateful of any community. Terrell, back to you. Tanya, thanks. After the trip. Laura Podesta is live at One Blood Drive downtown, where officials say there's an urgent need today. Laura. Terrell, there's an urgent need for all blood types, but especially the universal blood types, O positive, O negative, and AB plasma. Blood are recommended, but walk-ins are welcome. There are 17 life source locations in the Chicago area. This one happens to open at 7 a.m. Reporting live from Randolph and Clark, Laura Podesta, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Laura, at 503. Breaking news update right now. French officials are investigating a new terror attack this morning. A man with a knife attacked and killed a senior police official and his wife near Paris in the past. And Chicago police superintendent is calling for an investigation into video that appears to show an officer kicking a man in the head. Detectives want to find video of this incident. This morning we're waiting for test results which could show what caused the death of former Chicago Bear Brian Robinson. Detectives want to find video of this incident. This morning, we're waiting for test results, which could show what caused the death of former Chicago Bear Brian Robinson. The new Ferris Wheel and Navy Pier today is the day to do it. As because the pier is giving away free passes. They're handing them out from 10 this morning until noon. You'll want to be there early, though, since they are going on a first time. I didn't think rain was your favorite, poor little bird. And some of you are getting some rain. Right now, it's mainly well south of Chicago, as you do take a look and see that. Let's take you closer in where that rain is falling around moments right now into Kankakee. And then we head out toward Mendota, and you're just getting in on the last edge of that rain there. Rain now in Earlville. It is going to pick up in intensity very shortly. And then from DeKalb on west, we're also getting some thunderstorms there and you see that lightning that is visible. The lightning, there was quite a bit of it across LaSalle County, but now that is waning. Still just a few leftover bolts. So we look at the temperatures, 64 degrees in Schaumburg, 71 degrees right now, Cicero, and it is 68 degrees currently in University Park. So today's lineup includes high temperatures into the 80s and then later this afternoon, most likely there will be some additional thunderstorms moving in, Ross. Right? up all of the overnight rotoring on the inbound side right around Dundee. It's finally been moved off to the shoulder, so they have all lanes open. The bad news is we're still seeing some of that delay, and it really does extend beyond uh, Route 31, almost to Randall Road, so that's a pretty big backup on I-90. Speaking of the Jane Adams, we've got construction that is scheduled to begin right now in the 5 o'clock hour on the outbound side in that stretch between Roselle and Barrington. They'll have one lane closed until 2 this afternoon for some electrical work, weather permitting. So we'll keep an eye on that for you as well. We can take a look outside at the Dan Ryan. Fan could take a new direction today. On tonight's primary. You're watching Judy Sue, Terrell Brown, weather with meteorologist Tracy Butler, and Roz Varen's traffic. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Amazon getting in trouble for a shipping problem. And one passenger's crusade against the TSA. It is all in our Money Matters report today. Maribel Labor is live from the NASDAQ in New York. Good morning, Maribel. Good morning, Judy. First off, stocks tumbled yesterday for a third straight session as investors worried about this week's Federal Reserve meeting and the upcoming vote on the future of the U.K. and the European Union. Here's a quick look at those closing numbers. You can see here the Dow fell 252 points. Uh, NASDAQ was down 46. The S&P was down 36. Today in Tokyo, the Nikkei ended down 160 points. And right now, it looks like futures are pointing to a lower open. The Fed begins its two-day meeting today, and investors will be watching for a report on retail sales for May, which is also due out. The FAA wants to fine Amazon $350,000 or label the box. You'll be able to remove Apple's default apps from your iPhone icon until it jiggles and hit the X. 
Finally, a Minnesota man is suing the TSA over the cost of a missed flight. So we didn't respond for comment. Judy and Terrell can't really fault the guy. I mean, we've all been there. We're close to it. Oh, yeah. It'll be really interesting to see what happens here. I mean, you're good yeah. for this guy, mm -hmm. right? We'll have to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Maribel, thanks. It is 514, and just ahead, it is one of the signature sounds of summer. Day be a good day to cook out? I think so, but you may have to dodge a couple of thunderstorms later in the day. We'll talk more about that coming up. It is PG. Next slide, Jerry O'Connell, Mimi Leakes, and Jeff Goldblum from Independence Day. Oh, my God. Yep. Big deal. Um, yeah. <laughs> Today at 9 on ABC7. Yeah, looks pretty good. I think that's a great, great deal. Yeah. So we'll see you. <laughs> you right? Might. You like free that uh, much? I sure do. Well, we're going to see you on the fair today. Going around. Today. Go around, around. Well, here we go, and we're going round and round with the radar this morning, and that is because we do have some rain, but it's... Hey, these rounds of thunderstorms we're getting this morning to be severe. So around more sales now, as you can see, in Streeter, in LaSalle, you are getting that rain. And then it extends over toward Mantino and Kankakee right now, over into Lowell, Indiana. As we look at some of the lightning, and yes, west of DeKalb, you're probably seeing some of that lightning right now. Around Fairdale, you're probably also noticing some of that lightning. And just a little bit of it left over around LaSalle right now. Storm Prediction Center has us under a marginal risk for a severe thunderstorm today. I would tend to believe this would be for much later this afternoon. As we look at our future cast, and you can see how it does continue to move that rain that we're getting right now out of the area. I think it's a little quick. I think some of that rain will last, especially over into northwest Indiana, until about 9 o'clock this morning. And then it looks as though we're going to get a lull in the activity. And then until late afternoon, <laughs> that lull is going to be with us. So later this afternoon, I'd say after about 3 o'clock this afternoon, we'll most likely start to see some isolated thunderstorms or showers showing up on the radar, and that's something we'll continue to monitor, of course. So today, we're looking at high temperatures, mid-80s coming our way. Later in the afternoon, the potential for a few thunderstorms. Lake breeze, that will be present for us here today. Well, right now at O'Hare, it's 64. Active weather showing the dew point in the mid-50s. Currently 62 in McHenry, 63 degrees right now in Palatine. You get over to Maryville, it's 70 and Gary now at 68 degrees. So we have a lot of cloud cover with us, the steady heavier rain off to the south, but what we're going to have to watch for tomorrow, and even during the overnight period tonight, showers and thunderstorms that will come into the area. Then again tomorrow afternoon. It's tomorrow afternoon that I'm more concerned about this severe threat. We are going to be under an enhanced risk for severe storms tomorrow. That enhanced risk, you can see, uh, brings us into numerous potential uh, severe storms around the area. So this morning, mainly cloudy, some storms mainly far south and just an isolated one out around DeKalb right now. Some storms later this afternoon and then tomorrow, I think we'll have occasional showers and storms around as well. But then it gets really nice around here, Rob. We're going to start on fire. No reports of any injuries and the fire department wrapping things up. A little bit of cleanup. They've finished all their searches, so they should be out of there soon. As far as the expressways go, we're starting to see a little bit of buildup in traffic in a couple of spots like the Dan Ryan Bridge. But the reason for that is because there was some debris in the roadway inbound at Roosevelt, a bumper. I doc crews over there trying to get it out of the way. But we can take a look at our South Tower camera and you can see just how backed up that traffic got because last time there was hardly anything there. So it's pretty slow coming off the Stevenson most of the way down to Roosevelt Road. That will be reflected in the travel time. Oh, uh oh. All right, Ross, appreciate it. Thanks. 522 and coming up at 530, Chicago police investigating whether a man's support for police called Welcome back, everybody. It is 525. The struggling Sox were determined to break their slump, even if it took all night. They would win it. Sox win 10 to 9. And now Cubs fans already know Jake Arrieta is one of the best pitchers in the game. Uh, but they found out the Nationals have some fantastic pitching of their own. The Cubs played on ABC7 right here at 6 p.m. And the NBA Finals are not over yet. Nope, not even close. Game 6 headed back to Cleveland. The Warriors...
get right here on ABC7. All right. It is 526, and just ahead, new video this morning shows the danger that can come from a simple dead bat. Plus, it's World of Blood Donor Day, and here in Chicago, the need is high because of donations sent to the victims in Orlando. We are live this morning with how you can help. And we're not done with thunderstorms yet around Chicago for the day. We'll have your complete forecast, and it is coming up, right? That debris right around Roosevelt Road. I that crews moved it over to Polk Street Accident Investigation Site, but mm, damage done. Take a look outside. And Tracy is watching all of that for you. Good morning, everybody. Let's get right to the forecast. And Tracy is standing by in the weather center, Tracy. And then out toward DeKalb as well. So we have that one little thunderstorm out that direction. But it's mainly been more some heavy rain around Kankakee, as you can see, up towards Shanahan. Also, right now, Ottawa and up toward uh, Miller area. That's where we're also getting some fairly good rain from DeKalb. And then out toward the west of DeKalb also. A little bit of lightning and thunder that's visible out that way right now, but nothing here in the city. We'll have your complete forecast coming up, Terrell and Judy. Thank you, Tracy, for the death.